Hello, good day. It is Monday and I was originally planning to go to the gym as my first activity for today. But then I got very sidetracked and now I have uh, made the first version of a new pattern. Strawberry mouse. He, he's, he's a little baby. His tail is very cute. Uh, his face is also cute. Got little bubble stitch leggies, little ears that are crocheted in, so no sewing on that. This is sewn on. Um, but that's fine. He gotta do some tweaks on where the increases are and like clean up the notes so they are more understandable for other people. And then there's a pattern. I love it. He's cute. Now I am going to go to the gym because I do really need to do that today. And I know myself and I know that I will not go after class because I'll be sleepy then. Um, so I'm going to go and exercise. Strawberry mouse. He's small. Hi, hello. I am back from class with the strawberry mouse. We have a pink one too now. I put out the tester call. On my way back from class, we saw these pens with like wobbly and it's a dinosaur and i already had one of these but we got another one because we have a friend in germany who really likes dinosaurs so we got these pens and i had these pins laying around that i was saving for them i don't remember where i got them from but i was planning to give them to them whenever i was sending a gift i'm gonna send them the original strawberry mouse this little low tad in his little squid as a little gift because friendship I gotta hurry because the post office is closing soon and I want to get it out today. Hi, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm going to be on campus for like seven, eight hours again today. So we have a bag to make strawberry mice. And a bag of penguin sock. Yeah. I honestly had the impulse to undo it because I'm not sure about my tension, but that's not worth it. So I'm not doing it. If the tension is off, that's fine. It's just a sock. Anyway, that's what I have. And now I'm going to go to campus for until six. I don't like the long day. Hello, my yarn from Hobie arrived with, that I got with the gift cards my parents gave me. They gave me a gift card for Hobie, but I didn't really have anything that I wanted to order from Hobie for a while. So I got extra knitting needle sizes for the interchangeable set because I literally don't have those sizes yet in any knitting needle form. So that's useful. And I just got a random acrylic yarn in a bulk set that's a nice potential blanket project. I don't know. I don't like lay having gift cards or coupons laying around for a while because I will forget they exist and that will be wasted money. So I just got what I thought would be useful. Um, the penguin socks that I showed you Wednesday that I took to class, I had to unravel those because I fucked up majorly. So now my little sock needles are free. And on my DPNs I am doing a swatch of the penguin. Because what I did wrong was I was yarning under. Neo baby, what are you doing? Okay. I was yarning under instead of yarning over when I was um, switching colors. And that basically made it so like on the side of the tummy there was just a huge gap. And now I am doing it correctly and there is no gap. As you can see. So I'm just going to have a little penguin patch for whatever. And um, that's what I've been doing. I am almost done with it. I think like what three, four more rows of the actual penguin. Four more rows of the actual penguin. And then I... Uh, do some grey and then the stock it. No, not stock in it. Just knit both sides. Seed stitch? I don't remember. I'm not good at knitting yet. Well, I'm not bad at it. I am new to it and I don't actually know what I'm doing. It looks fine. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put this yarn away. Figure out if I know what I want to do with it yet. And then I'm probably going to work on my crochet pixel art blanket. Because I want to finish that so that bin is freed up. And so I can use it, of course. But 
I've been putting off my big projects for market prep, but I counted my stock and I I can't just do whatever I want to do. Because if I'm forcing myself to make stock, right, and I actually want to work on one of my blankets, I won't be making the stock as quickly or at all. I will just be doing something else. While I could be getting progress in on my other projects. So that's what I'm doing. Neo's being a little menace, so I'm gonna not do anything that requires her not touching stuff. Baby. She she got herself stuck. I'll go rescue her and um, put stuff away and probably do a time lapse. Bye. Hi, good morning. It is a Thursday. Um, you can see the penguin drying on the blocking board back there. He, the tension is a little in the middle, but it stretched out weirdly i know what to do next time it's fine um and i said i was gonna work on a pixel art blanket but i did not feel like counting so i'm finally working on my cardigan um the blue side was already done it's a hexagon cardigan so this side was already done And for the green side, I had to do two more rows of the actual hexagon and then sew up the sleeve. And then eight rows at the bottom to make it longer. Now I need to sew them together, add some sleeve bits and do the ribbing. Working on my ends because I leave that to the end because I'm dumb. And then this is done and I don't have to think about it anymore. And I can wear it to work on Saturday to get compliments from all the old ladies that come to buy their newspaper. That is very fun about wearing stuff you made yourself. Old ladies love you. I'm gonna do that. Okay, hi. It is like the afternoon now and it is so nice and sunny. So I'm definitely moving downstairs where I can like sit directly in the sun. Instead of at the weird spot in my room where the sun is only in my eyes. I am working on the second sleeve extension. You can kind of see where it goes from the sewing line until the extension, but I don't care about that. Um, the blue sleeve is done. It has six extra rows of the granny stitch to like make it a bit longer. Then it has some decreases and then it has the ribbing and it's really poofy when you wear it. I'm, I'm not wearing it right now. It's really poofy and I love it. And it's like the correct size around my wrist to be comfy. Really hoping I have this done before I go to work. I took the little penguin swatch off of the blocking board. You can see that it's stretched a little weird to get into shape. I am sewing this onto a beanie that I'm going to make on the knitting machine in a second. And I started something that I really should not have started. Um, that new yarn that I bought from Hobie with the gift card. I am also going to use it for a hexagon cardigan. I really like that the colors are quite small. So they change often. I think it's really pretty. This yarn feels super nice to work with. And I am also changing the way I do these. Because in this one, I do the granny stitch as like a double crochet uh, cluster. And then I chain. And then I do another one. And in the corners, I chain three. And I was watching Passionate Kelsey. And she doesn't chain between clusters. And she only changed one on the corner. And I try that for this. And it goes so much quicker. She know she's up to something. I um, So I'm, I'm doing that now. And I have um, started writing down which method of granny square i'm doing for which project because for some projects um i have a lot of granny square things going at the same time some of them um i'm not too sure about but i like the granny stitch a lot and i like having a lot of projects at the same time because different colors different yarn weights different textures and all that um yeah i'm gonna go downstairs make the beanie to put the penguin on and then I am going to work on some stock for a minute. I also need to make some sketches for stickers. Because I need to 
stickers to be done on time for me to be able to get them printed and delivered on time before the convention. I don't know what the deadline for that is, because they usually ship within like two days, but sometimes it's delayed and you can technically pay like two euros extra to have next day delivery, so it's not that strict of a deadline, I just want it to be on time. Uh, I'm thinking that this blue goes nice with the penguin. So I'm gonna order the lighter blue I have in this. I think I'm gonna do the lighter blue. I'm gonna do that. Bye. Look, it's so cute. I love it. Um, there's a little bit of stuffing in here, so it's like really soft and squishy. Uh, the Hobie yarn is so nice. Like this uh, Tweed Dreams is so nice for the beanies. But it takes two full skeins to make a beanie on the knitting machine. And they're a lot more expensive than the yarn I can get like a full beanie in one skein with. So when it goes on like a steep discount, I might walk by it again. I have quite a bit of it because I wanted to make a lot of dice baggies with it. But then I decided that I don't actually want to sell dice baggies that much. Like I'll bring some because I made some. But I don't want to bring like 50 because everyone is selling dice bags at the tabletop RPG convention. So I'll just bring some and have it on like a list of cheap customs. As in like, hey, if you want a custom dice bag, you can put that in. But I'm mostly bringing plushies. I put this up for 27 euros and 50 cents, which is really cheap. Because the two skeins of Tweet Dreams together were like, what, 450? And then there's the yarn for the patch. That's barely any yarn because it's really small knitting, but it's still, there is yarn in it and a bit of stuffing. The patch took me like three hours because I was struggling. And then the knitting machine beanie took some time. Um, my normal knitting machine beanies are only 20 euro. And that is mostly a yarn yarn and shipping materials price. Because they take very little effort to make. Like they might take time, but they don't take any brain cells, you know. Like, I'm just sitting there like... That's not that I'm not charging well for that. Um, he's done, he's listed. I posted about it like on my story, not on the actual posts. I might, if I don't sell him in like a reasonable time, I might like make a reel with all the beanies I have because I have a lot of knitting machine beanies in stock and even like hand crocheted beanies that I just put up for the same price because I don't wear them and I want them out of my storage. Like, I know that my niche, very broadly speaking, is plushies. And uh, most people that buy from me don't really buy beanies unless they are custom orders. Like Aspen's bunny ear beanie that had, like, the very specific sizing and very specific uh, colors and stuff like that. And uh, um, Oscar wants a very specific beanie that fits him because he has a big head and he is struggling to find any beanies. Like... Outside of that, I don't really sell any clothes or accessories. I just sell plushies. And coasters, I guess. Keychains. Uh, so I should probably advertise that I have those. And then think about if I want to keep making them. Or if I want to, like, narrow down what I'm selling. And just make those things for myself. Like, I really like making beanies and accessories. Especially the knitting machine beanies. Because they go zoomy. And you get to see the colors worked up nice and pretty. Um, but so many people are making those, I don't, I don't think I can advertise that well. Anyway, I did that, finished that, listed it, posted it, and then I took some little things out of the freezer. I don't know what you call these in English. They're like little whipped cream filled things um, in the dinosaur bowl. I, I bought them today because I realized I don't eat these like at all. And I used to love them, so I just got them to see if the nostalgia factor holds up. But they're defrosting. Um, I'm gonna try to do art now. I'm gonna try to sketch out the stickers. I'm not gonna put them on the PC and do like digital art yet because digital art is frustrating. And I don't have the brain cells for that today. I'm gonna sketch them out and I'm gonna continue working on that blue and green cardigan. And then that is the rest of today. It's like 5.30. I don't have to cook though, my boyfriend is learning how to cook like properly. He he can cook, he just doesn't really practice it, so he's really slow at it. And then he 
doesn't like doing it because he feels slow and like he's bad at it. But he's fine. Like, it tasted fine. Just took a little bit longer than normal. So he's practicing that because he wants to be helpful. Which is cute. That is very sweet and cute. Um, yes. Bye. <laughs> Hello. It is evening. The lighting is horrendous again. I did the sketches on paper. I did not transfer them to digital because I don't feel like doing that. I think I already said that. And then I got super sidetracked. I discovered that this dress I started on like a long time ago um, that I then stopped working on because I realized that I couldn't wear it. Um, fits my housemate. So I can finish it and she can wear it. Slay. And I talked to a bunch of people about custom crop tops cardigans, accessories, whatever, because they asked if I can do that, and like, yes, because those are my friends, and I can have them come over to fit stuff. That's the main reason why I don't like making clothes for, like, complete strangers. I won't know if it fits them, and I won't know if they know how to measure correctly. You know, like that that stuff. Anyway, this is the dress. Um, the top has like triangle cups. And then the rest is just like uh, knitting machine panels. Which is why it doesn't fit me. Because the knitting machine panels go straight down. And I have a butt, which means that um, it kind of like stretches the fabric and it becomes see-through. Which, you know, I prefer not having see-through clothes covering my butt. It, it It's a long one. In a Hobie Horizon cake, it has this here down the side, which I tried to do to negate the stretch, but it's not enough. It is an open back type deal, so it's going to have a strap from the top, crosses in the back, laces the side all the way down the back, and then this is like right above your butt, open back with lace. Very pretty, very cool. I don't know why I wanted to make it, because I don't wear clothes like that. Like, in general, I don't. Um, but now my housemate can wear it, so that's that's cool. I'm going to finish that at some point. Probably today, because I just have to work in some ends and make really long straps. I can do that, like, today. Tonight, as a bedtime project. Um... Got a be decent chunk done on the sleeves. I haven't really made any visible progress on the cardigan. I am going to be making a strawberry crop top though. I'm very excited about that. I'm basically doing it for free because the person that buys all the strawberry stuff said that she wants to wear crop tops. And I want to make more crop tops for like anyone but myself. I like making crop tops. I don't mind wearing them. I just really don't wear them often enough to justify making a bunch. Because in the summer I still live in oversized t-shirts and shorts. I don't get dressed up regularly enough to justify having more than the like five crochet crop tops that are in that bin up there. So I'll be making that for her for a gift because I like making gifts for people. Slay. I am gonna be sleepy now. Goodbye. Okay, hi. It's Saturday. I finished my cardigan. And yesterday a friend visited. He traded the strawberry mouse, the pink one, for the D&D 5e starter set. Which I think is uh, not an equal trade at all. That's definitely worth more. But he wanted to do that, so cool. I have that now. I finished this and I'm wearing it to work today. I am going to be complimented by so many old ladies. It's really comfy. The bottom also has the other color around it. And that dress thingy is also finished. It's just the same as what you already saw, except now it has these really long straps that you can lace through the back. I am not going to wear it for the reasons I mentioned before. Uh, so this is my housemates. It's pretty colors. Good for her. I have no clue what project I am bringing to work for my lunch break yet. I'll uh, probably very chaotically decide that five seconds before I leave the house. 
I'm gonna go have breakfast now. Hi, hello. I did get a bunch of compliments at work yesterday. A bunch of uh, nice little old ladies, they came to buy their little uh, crossword puzzle books and newspapers, asked me how I made my cardigan. So that was fun, that was good soup. Today it is um, a little, little less um, grandma style, a little bit more vibing. My grandparents are visiting, so I'm not going to be able to do much today. Neo is here. She can be a little baby. And we have our fancy tea set out. And I have yarn. That's all for today. And then it's the end of the week. So um, I'll see you next week. I'm planning a giveaway. I am going to send out my pattern tests today. So more strawberry mouse coming up. And next week is the last week of classes, then there's resets exams, and then there's income. Time is fast. I hate it. I'm confused. Uh, hopefully I will edit this when my grandparents leave. They're, they're not going to be here for super long, but you never know how long they're going to be there or when exactly they're going to be there. So They didn't say they were eating here, so I'm assuming they'll be gone before dinner, especially our dinner, because we eat super late. I'm so excited to have this finished. Oh, it's so comfy. It's so comfy and nice. Bye.